Hi YouTube, it's uh, Inamga4 again. In this video I'm going to show you how to remove the yellow triangle um, which comes up when you boot up the device um, without a USB jig. So that's what I'm talking about, getting rid of the yellow triangle with the black exclamation mark in it. Um, after you've rooted the phone, that's what happens, that comes up on boot up. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to get rid of that without using a USB jig. Um, if you do have a USB jig, check out one of my other videos on how to use it, uh, which gets rid of that yellow triangle. But if you don't and you don't want to spend the extra couple of pounds to uh, get the USB jig, just follow my instructions in this video. Uh, first of all, um, just show you that this phone is rooted. You will need root, needs to be rooted basically, and there's the two apps which you get super user and uh, CWM. What you need to do is go to settings make a note uh, and go to about scroll to the bottom make a note of the kernel version on there it's usually the i9-100XX and then something in my case is the KI3 make a note of that and what we're going to do is just plug my phone in to my computer on the computer you can now see that the PC has detected the phone it's been connected so we'll just open that up and navigate um, to the directories. Brilliant. Um, what we all need to do is the the CF root file that we use to root the device. We need to extract that. So, if you haven't rooted your phone, check out one of my other videos on how to do that. But if you have, just locate the same file that you use, the CF root file, extract it. So, basically, I'm double clicking on it opens it up in WinZip and you can see there's a Z image file we need that file so I'm gonna right click and extract it to the desktop just for ease of use and then I'm gonna close this down because that's no longer required I don't need the Z image box there either so I'm just gonna move the Z image file in the middle of the screen just for ease of use so that's there what we need to do is move that file to the, the Galaxy S2 um, so ideally you could put it on the SD card um, I'm going to move it to the USB storage folder um, what I'm doing is copying it it says it already exists I might have copied it before so I'm just going to copy and replace it because I don't know what version that might be there you go that's the end of that um, so I can close that down now we'll just move back over to the phone. On the phone, um, that's pretty much all we need to do. So we're just going to power it down. Power button, power off. Yeah, we're sure. And then we'll unplug it from the USB as well. Now that the phone's off, um, what we're going to do is boot it into download mode. Okay, so that's volume down, power and sorry volume down home and power all together holding them down until the screen changes and this says a custom run can cause critical damage are you, one, are you sure basically press up arrow to continue which is upper volume press it gets into download mode that's brilliant what we're going to do is just plug the phone back in which is awesome um, now I'm going to just move over to the computer now on the computer we need to download a version of the stock kernel so when I'm in the stock I'm in the Samsung standard stock kernel for this KI3 kernel that we have I'll put a link in the description of where you can download them from okay not just for the KI3 but other versions as well so I've got the the kernel there the tar file uh, what we need to do is load up Odin um, so I'm just going to load up Odin I've got there brilliant it's loaded alive there um, it's up and running you can see the yellow box symbolizing that the phone is connected uh, what we need to do is tick the PDA box select click the PDA button go to the desktop to where we've just put the stock kernel and uh, just find the stock kernel there it is and then hit open make sure all these options are the same as per what you can see in the video so 
so we've only got the auto reboot and the reset time ticked everything else is unticked and then once we're ready we hit start and the kernel starts to flash phone itself does it really quickly you can see there Odin says it's finished and it says pass the phone then reboots without the yellow triangle we can close down Odin because we no longer need that as long as it says pass there you're good to go to close that down um, you shouldn't shut it down before it says pass so we're done on the computer we'll move back over to the phone the phone's rebooted okay now when we go back into it the two rooted files that we had as in CWM and super user should still be there brilliant they are you can see them there okay now what we need to do start up CWM so we'll tap that it says it requires root access that's fine it says remember hit hello it's granted the permission so that's working okay what we need to do once that's loaded up is flash kernel so scroll down on CWM manager till you get to flash kernel okay then it gives you basically like a um, Windows Explorer folder view you need to locate to where you put the Z image file so what we're going to do is scroll down I'll put it under USB storage I hit it and there it is so all we do is tap that and it says flash kernel flash will cancel we'll say flash and the device should reboot again with no yellow triangle Okay, so the phone's booted up. You can see, still got the super user access. Here. So let's just hit into. You can see, it's allowing CWM as super user access. And that's how you get rid of the yellow triangle on the Samsung Galaxy S2. What you do need to bear in mind is just remember to get the stock kernel that you flash it with. Stock as in the manufacturer approved the one that comes on the phone when you first get it. As I say, I will put a, a link in the description for that. Uh, any questions, please comment below um, and I'll try and help you guys out. But if you follow those, this video down to a T, then it will, you'll remove the yellow triangle. Uh, please subscribe above from the button up top. Um, give us a thumbs up if it works. If it doesn't, try and comment below and I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.